Before you can make any changes to your images in WordPress, you need to know how to access them. So in this video, I'm going to cover the media library. The media library is where you upload, store, and edit all the images on your WordPress site. After logging into your site, in the left-hand navigation bar, hover over Media and click on Library. This is where you access all of your media files, including images, audio, video, PDFs, and any other media files that you have chosen to use on your site. At the top of your media library, you can change the way that your files are displayed, filter them by media type and upload date, select multiple files for deletion, and search for a file by name. By default, your files are displayed in grid view. This provides you with a large thumbnail preview of your images. If you'd like to view more information about an image, such as the upload date, file name, or the user who uploaded it, use this icon to switch to list view. You can access the same options regardless of which view you choose, but since most users typically prefer the default grid view, I'm going to switch back to that. You can use the drop-down that says All Media Items to view only a specific type of media. Click the drop-down and choose to view only images. This includes JPEG, PNG, and GIF files. Only videos. This includes MPEG, MOV, MP4, and WebM files. Or only audio, which includes MP3s, WAV files, and other audio formats. The next drop-down allows you to filter your media files based on the month they were uploaded. You can choose a specific month and year, or combine the date based filter with the file type filter and select only image files that were uploaded in April 2018, for example. The bulk select button allows you to select multiple media files and delete them all with one click. Simply click cancel selection to return to the media library. The last thing we'll cover in this video is the search feature. Click inside the search box and enter a keyword. WordPress will automatically begin searching your media files by name. Click the X to clear the search and return to all media items. It's really important to be descriptive when naming your files. A file name like this will be nearly impossible to search for. But if you prefix all of your logos with the word logo and provide a company name like this, they'll be much easier to search for in the future. Now that you understand the basics of the media library, let's move on to the next lesson.